Hey guys, welcome to the stream. So give me a second while we put a link out on Twitter and the Discord. And then we'll have a little bit of hello people. See who's here. Okay, we are good. Hello, who do we have? Emily, Stuart, G, Jan, uh, Alneda, Hernandez, am I pronouncing that right? Could it be? Will I finally catch a live stream? Well, hopefully so. EMB, Rahil, Thick Phoenix, Minor. Hey guys, how is everyone? Happy Saturday. Hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend so far. I hope everyone enjoyed the few candy collab uh, over on Friday night as well. We'll have a look, we'll head over to the build and have a little look at it before we start playing and speak of the devil. There she is. Welcome in for you, Candy. Hey, I hope you're having a good day. I'm not too bad, Claire. How are you? How are you? Brad Stanton. Insane as always. What time is it, mate? <laughs> Welcome into the stream. And Sarah Ducky as well. The uh, the Aussies are here. And Trebang, Jennifer. Welcome, everyone. Yes, so I hope you all enjoyed uh, the Few Candy collaboration. And um, of course, for those that haven't seen it, um, Few Candy built this in Ilos over on her channel uh, on Friday. And I built something in Oridon on this channel. And what a just amazing job <laughs> she did, man. How good is this medical centre? And these car park patterns as well, just unreal. <laughs> unreal. And all of this detailing as well, man. Look at this little condo detailing. So good. <laughs> just so good. Amazing. And then, of course, the dirt track, which I have actually set using Traffic Manager now. If we can stop getting that annoying mod error. Um, so I've set the speed limit to 140 um, as per a few candies instructions, which does give us the aesthetic of some extremely fast cars using the track when they do get over here. Hopefully we'll see one in the live stream today. We'll see. <laughs> hey Nicole, welcome in. Man just called me Penandes. Did I call you Penandes? <laughs> I said Hernandez, didn't I? I don't think I said Penandes. Apologies if I did say Penandes. Okay, so it's amazing. It's super cute. She's filled out a Margaret frame. Oh, don't zoom out too far. The path doesn't like that. <laughs> but um, just a wonderful build. Thank you so much for your candy. However, in the live stream today, we have uh, more detailing to do within the Margaret. And we're also going to uh, start working on some new stadia because we've only really got one stadium in the Margaret at the minute. And I think we can do another one. Uh, so in order for us to have a look at this, let's go ahead and uh, jump into Google Earth and we'll go and scout out some Stadia. I think I have one in mind that I'm already fancying. So we'll head on over there. It's only 1am. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, I suppose. It's none of the 4am craziness that's going on then. So it's this one here. Um, the Arizona uh, Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Whilst we don't have this asset specifically, it's certainly some inspiration that we can take. So it sits very nicely on the corner of a Margaret frame. A ton of car parking, like <laughs> just enormous amounts. I might have to scale it back a little bit in cities for this. This won't get that much use. But these sort of look like the oil assets, right? The little oil storage units here. Kind of. Kind of look like them. Some generic industry. I think we use the basketball stadium. And then I've also noticed... Um, some cute little suburbs around this part of Phoenix, although of course now we're live, I have lost them. <laughs> they were over here. I promise you. Is it over this way? I definitely had them. Either way, there's some nice interesting road patterns around here that isn't just kind of straight rigid grid. Oh, here it is. Yes, here it is. <laughs> it's next door. So... It's like a perfect square, right, with a cross through the middle, but it's like someone's dragged a move it and just pulled the node off centre and stretched all the roads out. So, and a, a ton, you know. I think this is going to be the most appropriate. And it's not too tall either. It's definitely not going to draw the eye away from the American football stadium, especially if it is to lie in this part of the skyline. It's not too big, right? It's still acceptable. I think it will actually blend in as part of the skyline as well, especially from this angle, this orientation. Yeah. Egg and candy sit in a tree. <laughs> You'll see him be exactly, mate. Exactly. Note if your stadium doesn't have 2x3, its size worth of parking, it's not accurate. 
Oh, two to three times its size worth of parking. Or to scale. No, well, to go to scale in cities is near impossible. Oh, hello. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Justin. No worries, mate. Welcome into the stream. Yeah, so definitely the baseball stadium from the campus stuff. And then let's start bringing in some of those vibes now with kind of large flanking car parks that can sit either side. I'm definitely feeling parking lot roads for this as opposed to big parking lots, I think. Or am I? See, big parking lots would be better, but it's going to eat into the node count, isn't it? And I've really got to start being careful with that node count. <laughs> it is quickly. So like, if we just have a little detour and talk about this. So that's currently what we've build out in ILOS, right? This is our current occupation. Let me move the UI. So all of these builds so far have used up a third of ILOS's node count. So going forward, I've got to start being a little more conservative with the nodes, I think, and big parking lots. Ah, it's not conservative <laughs> at all with its node. Not with big parking lot. Um, yeah, big parking lots is the right one. How about if we connected a few of these together? So let's go for these ones and then we'll grab the service roads, which I now have, thank courtesy of the Oridon collab. Okay, can we get in some fairly respectable car park designs like this? I wonder. Those pesky ILOS drivers, I know. As usual, ILOS seems driving where they want. Yeah, <laughs> just different mindset. Different mindset on the Alice drivers. So let's just kind of get a general impression, right? I'm happy to fill this out with surface paint as well in the middle. Because although the angle that we're checking out in Phoenix is lots of solid, never ending car parking, I think just a few little concrete reservations designed with the surface painter to sit between the blocks of car parking here is going to be quite nice. So we'll leave that in. I think I'm binding into that idea. We could even repeat this a third time as well if we want. Um, so let's go for... Let's actually grab a dirt road first so we can mark the halfway point. Because if this mark grid frame is going to be occupied by this, it needs to be split 50-50 really. What's the distance here? That's 85. Okay, so we can't make it to 100 here, right? No, yeah, this is where the mark grid breaks. That's fine. We'll just do 50 then instead. And then we will leave that there as a boundary as to where the stadium build should end within this frame. Okay, let's well, do it again. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Let's use the roads exporting ore products from the recycling center. <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening. I did actually have this in a uh, few candy cities. Well, I had a truck that drove right across the bay. But I unfortunately wasn't recording. I need to get those roads. What DLC is this? And this isn't a DLC, Louise. This is a mod called Big Parking Lot Roads. Oh, no, sorry. It's a mod called Parking Lot Roads. I always get confused between the two. Yeah, Parking Lot Roads is the one you want off the Steam Workshop, Louise. Okay, so let's go for three of these. Each at a distance of 30. Okay. Again, I think this almost wants to be uh, slightly higher because we want to save in uh, some entrance points. Yeah, because there's like some industry that sits in this space here. So let's select all of our nodes. I'm going to use Alt just to budge this up. A touch, probably to like there, maybe. I think that's more of what I'm after. And then let's remove the service paint as well and just slide it over a bit. Okay, so let's come back into another road now so we can place in the stadium itself. So a few candy has finally gotten me the other parking lot roads that I needed. I think we need to come out of the middle one really, don't we? Although it does depend how deep the stadium is. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Let's come out of the other one instead. 
It's always quite challenging when playing with these big car parking patterns. They're not as easy as they look. So if we make it flush, of course we use Bob to remove the hideous beech trees, but... Because there is quite a few of these around Arizona. There's obviously this Veterans Coliseum that we're looking at now. There's State Farm as well. Arizona definitely has these large stadiums completely surrounded by nothing but parking vibes. Okay. If you have a mining truck, why stick to roads? True. He, he does have the vehicle of all people to go off-road, if anyone. <laughs> to be fair, doesn't it? Finally catch our live stream. Greetings one and all. Hey, Rune. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome in. Like the Gridish area around Sun City, Lake East Gov. You could do something like the Arizona Baltimore Estates. I'll check it outside, but I haven't seen the Baltimore Estates one. I haven't seen that one. So much to learn. Such an amazing city building game. Probably the best city building game, Louise, to be fair, mate. It is, uh, it is different gravy, this game. Especially on the PC as well. Definitely get it on PC. Okay, so... Yes, here. And then we're going to start coming out again by... Measurements of 30. And then this will now repeat my pattern. Okay, let's make sure we keep grabbing the service roads. So do 10. And about to 30. There we go. So this is a nice little sort of discovery of car parking formats. Stretches of 10 service road and then a repetition of a 58 meter. Okay. And again, it definitely wants that service painter. The less sand that surrounds this thing, I think really kind of brings home its more authentic vibes, I think. That's not a pretentious thing to say. I don't think it is. Let's get rid of the trees as well with Bob. Uh, let's go for... Yeah, no alders here. And uh, no bushes either. We will place our own. Okay, hey are we? Hope you're welcome. Not too bad, the chicken club. How are you, mate? And JJ as well. I'm not too bad. How are you? Welcome, welcome in. Okay. I'm on board with it. I'm on board. Are we about central? I think we're slightly... Slightly, slightly not central with the roads, are we? But that should be adjusted with move it. Okay. Definitely a cycle highway entrance point off of this as well, of course. Make sure we keep everyone factored into this thing. Okay, we'll try and knock it centrally and then just have a little play around with the node and move it so we can come down perfectly centrally. And I think some little palms are going to be just purely appreciated here, aren't they? See if we can manually line this up. That's about right, isn't it? Only a very slight adjustment there. So that's to give them some road connections too. Um, so you want to come down here now. At which point this metro access road. We need to rethink the metro station over here as well because of course this is just a temporary point. I'm thinking I might split this using one of the other metro stations, the Jewel Island one. If we put the Jewel Island here, we can split the metro so one flows off that direction to the airport and then the other one carries in the downtown. I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll sort the stadium first though. <laughs> we'll sort the stadium. Okay. So I'm still not happy with the mass orientation of the car parking in the stadium. Um, let's go for a little bit and move it again. We'll grab everyone. As best we can anyway. Not including... Bicycle Highway. Gotting on node though. Okay, yeah, so more about there. Yeah, just slightly over. Slightly over is what I'm after. 
make it last steep. Yeah, we will do now it's uh, it's coming out. You should split the tram the same way. Make one way transition into LRT and then the rest is local trams. You could use those content creator money buses to do a direct line from the stadium to the station. Yeah, that wouldn't be a little a little bad idea. Definitely not adverse to bringing the trams in front of it as well. That's a good shout, actually. We could just bring them off into their own little peninsula here and take them off of the road and let them stop. Some very nice detail and opportunities in that. Have a look at that anyway. Let's get the road hooked in. And then we'll see what we think anyway. And hopefully start seeing some people arrive at the stadium. Wonderful. Turn the lights on as well. Okay. Again, Stadia surrounded by low-density suburb is a very uh, key Arizona vibe as well, of course. So with the tram, let's have a look at that. Um, let's go into our tram roads. If you move the tram off the road, you can move the bike network upon it. Mm. Yeah, this will allow us to continue the median through. Yeah, just bring the tram line straight off of this. Yeah, that, that's the connection we need. This is going to require a little bit of reworking, but this is how we'll do it. Bring that back up to there. Again, we'll make sure that road bending is off here, and we're just snapping to road length and angle too. So we go for that one. Okay, and then that's a line the road guideline here. We'll have this come right straight there. What's the distance that it's going to come out? Can we even measure that? Um, That seems unnecessary. Let's redo that. There we go. That's better. Okay, so distance there is 390 or 6 units. Let's see if we can repeat that this side as well. Basically there, isn't it? Okay, and then let's upgrade this into six lane brick now to fit in with the rest of the mark grid. And then hopefully just a case of dragging the tram stops themselves up onto this road. And it looks like I've added in a couple of unnecessary stops though. There we go. Okay, so I'm also going to do... Let's just move you over there. Let's come into Node Controller. No, Network Multi Tool. And then... Uh, no, I don't really want to do that actually. Yeah, let's just bring them in. Right there. Why has that broken my tram line? You okay? There. Speed road length on as well. And no collision. Yeah, let's carry on like right to there. And then just move across into that grid now. And then get a connection in. So we're just about clearing the electrical tram wires, I think, with the cycle highway. That should be okay. Multi network tool. <laughs> yeah. Multi network tool. It's like the biotechnical garden, isn't it? And make sure there's a crossing on the tram tracks. Good shout. Good shout. Um, let's do that with a node controller. Let's change it to a crossing. 
And then I'm thinking lots of manually painted out spacing now. With vanilla paths and surface painter. Let's bring it into that crossing node, which is there. You can just sort of tell where the, the lines break. Why do you keep breaking there? Is that because I messed about with node controller? I'm assuming so. We'll wait and find out, though, of course. Although, if we are playing with surface painter, the channel's going to be a ball lake, isn't it? Um, I do have some new network things now. Yeah, surface networks. Here we go. That's big, isn't it? Haven't used these before, so... Mm, it's not really what I'm after. We'll just go with surface paint for a minute. No zoo pathway. We could do zoo path if you want, I suppose. I do feel like I am overdoing it a little bit. It's nice, though. To be fair. We can even paint this one out with the gravel texture if we want. Do some more natural sand-esque detail in here. A little more trodden. Perhaps slightly overgrown. We'll see if the mood strikes. Push these out of touch. Okay. I'm definitely appreciating the aesthetic of the benches anyway. And you could even bring the pathway to run parallel with the tram line as well if you want. So, yes, there we go. They're crossing over. That's what we want to see. The guy on the bike did anyway. Okay. Well, the brush tool, if you still have them. I'm not sure if you can do. <laughs> it's been... There's a lot in there now. Oh, yes, the brushes. Is these ones you're about? Yes, please. Is that eating into the node count, though? Do they count as a node? I've got a feeling that they do. Maybe they don't. Oh, there's marble as well. Paved. Oh, <laughs> endless possibilities. Okay, right. Um, Cycle highway. Cycle highway. I might even do two junctions to mimic the... At least sit parallel with them. Possibility for palm line pathways to come in here now too, if we want. We are just about clearing the rail line there, I think, although waiting for confirmation of a tram would be great. Pop a pedestrian crossing on the road too. Yes, good chat. No, they don't. Nodes are networks only. Is that true? Is that how it works, Karina? I did not know that. A nodes only counted for networks. Went to node control then. It's a good shout from Sarah. Yeah, we'll go for a crossing. Um, it's saying that there's a marking, but there isn't. We can probably draw one in with intersection marking tool. Won't it work here? Will it? Oh yes, it will. Yes, it will. Okay, let's create a crosswalk then. Um, shift for a crosswalk, isn't it? Yeah, let's just do this then. Uh, let's go, I like the ladders. Let's do a ladder. And then we'll try and drop it somewhere in the middle. Let's change our width too if we can. Yeah, there we go. That's going to help, isn't it? Just a little bit of IMT to fill out that, that walker. Or crossing, even. <laughs> walker isn't really a thing. Okay. Let's do this as well then. Let's bring this over. And then we're going to bring this one down to earth as well. And then definitely 100% now. Let's go for um, some of the palms. Oh, I still have the boreal pack turned on. I need to turn that off. The Douglas furs. We won't use them here anyway, of course. Okay. Okay. Let's do parking spaces. And 
we definitely not forget the disabled ones this time. So out front of the one in Phoenix, there is actually some slanted parking. I'm not sure why it's not showing there though. That's the cycle pathway that's doing that. Why is that happening? Let's uh, try that again. Hey Fabrizio, welcome in mate. Is that just a case of it needs to be a little bit further away? Maybe a tile further away? I've never seen it affect car parking like that before. Yeah, it is affecting it. Well, I guess we can just put it on the other side, right? Yeah, we can just do that. I'm just making things more complicated for myself, really. Um, let's go for those 16 meter one-sided ones again. Yeah, too close. Yeah, we'll just do it on the opposite side. Straight outside the front of the stadium. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Not bad. Let's make sure that we redraw these connections in as well. Got 136 people here. Welcome to the stream, guys. Do appreciate you all turning up for a little bit of Saturday stream fun. Okay. That's nicer, I think, isn't it? I definitely want lots of detail out here. Anyway, parking spaces, which was the original plan. Um, so let's go for the big eight by two ones out in the corners, and then we'll have a look at some uh, disabled slash accessible parking as we move closer into the stadiums. So we get these outlines set up first. Do I want to go down the middle as well? We'll keep the middle free. I'm not sure. Oh, Canadian Gamer became a YouTube egg. Thank you so much, Canadian Gamer. You should have access to some emojis now, mate. Really appreciate the support. And then Mehmet Ali Briskin with a 100 Turkish Lira Super Chat. Sorry I'm late. No worries, Mehmet. Welcome in, mate. Thank you so much for turning up as always. Mehmet is always here. <laughs> he never leaves. Appreciate it. And then Maniac Mina with a 20 US doll Super Chat. Better late than never. No worries, buddy. Welcome in. Always happy to see that Pink Floyd <laughs> profile picture. Thank you so much for all super chats on the spot, guys. Really appreciate that. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about excluding the middle row. Is it a massive difference? Is it really even that noticeable? It does look very weird when the middle row isn't filled, to be fair. So I think maybe we should fill it. This is a massive car park, man. <laughs> I don't think the Sims are going to use this appropriately. I think this is going to be too big for them, but we'll see. So we'll do three of these each time. Again, starting at the rightmost point. We can even make these little central reservation areas where it's just concrete, like walkable. Again, with a pathway. Mehmet needs to keep his eye on his various districts. He does. He does. Mehmet is a stream legend. Always super chats, always here. Yeah, Mehmet is like one of the more hardcore egg fans. <laughs> He's here for every live stream, every premiere. Mehmet is never not there. <laughs> Mehmet's a beast. He's a big fan of the egg content. And we love you for it, Mehmet. And as is Java as well. Java's another one with his 10 Canadian doll super chat. Hello to all. Hello to you, Java. Welcome in, buddy. How are you? Nice to see you as always. Yes, Mehmet is, um, has something of an egg addiction, I think. Can I just grab all my little pathway nodes here? Is that going to work? Yes, I think it has. Amazing. Thank you so much for the super chat as well, Java. Appreciate that, buddy. Welcome into the stream, mate. Okay, so even at night time, these little vanilla pathways within the service painter should give us 
an extra layer of detail in as the just illuminates it up a little bit, doesn't it? Because without them, those central dark spots are very dark, so. Yeah, I think we'll go with the uh, repeatable pathway patterns and we'll just move it to keep dropping them in. Fantastic. Oh, balls. I realised I haven't put that other road in, have I? Oops. <laughs> How many people scream at that one? There we go. Now it looks right. That's fine. And then you are out here now, so you might as well just sort of finagle back over to this point. Uh, we'll come out by this one here. JJR with a £5 super chat. If we don't have insurance, job coconut palms in this girthy car, I can't rage quit. <laughs> Um, we can certainly go for it, JJ. Thank you so much for the super chat, buddy. Uh, but yes, I'm, of course, always keen to include um, some coconut car parks to rack up the insurance money. That's going to break our grid frame as well. Let's also bring a traffic light onto the junction as well. With traffic manager. Fantastic. Okay. So, some people are driving around now. I'm beginning to arrive. That's good. Can never have enough parking. Paths, rocks, and keys. But you only need four houses. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The housing demand is through the floor at the minute. They only really care about commercial. Okay. Why are you just stopping there? So let me have a little quick old glance back to my Google Earth inspiration again. So there is actually an Arizona State Fair here, but we don't have the assets to really replicate that. Um, okay, there is definitely grassland though. We can factor in a park into it, that's no problem. So let's go for these little US two lane roads again. Hopefully we can just come out of here now. That's not going to be too nasty a texture change, is it? No, I think I can live with that. So remembering that that's our halfway point. Zona just a mod keeps removing itself over here. Do the same at the back of this one as well. And then we'll use this space here for uh, Green Parkland, which is just a pathway, a building, and a couple of trees. There's not really that much to it, which is fine. It's not massively overstated in the area. I think we'll come with the Astro Turf grass while we're near the stadium. I think that's going to blend in a little nicer, isn't it? If I actually chose the right option, of course. Let's come to landscaping. There we go. Oh. Of course, I've service painted it, <laughs> so now it won't work anyway. There we go, there we go. Mehmet is in the Discord, is he? No, she's patrons to ask questions. Yeah, you should hang out with us more in the Discord, Mehmet. Be nice to see you if you're in there. No, Karina's encouraging you in, as always. Mother Karina helping us to foster the community. And then it is literally just like some slightly thicker trees and probably thinking content creator live oaks are going to be most appropriate maybe. And again, I wonder if we can possibly do just a very thin line of surface painter to mark off kind of the boundary of the stadium if you like. We are on this axis so it should work relatively nicely. There we go. Cool. And then bring our brush size up a touch. Amazing. To be fair, this car park probably would have been more appropriate for the American football stadium asset itself. Why is there still bushes here? Didn't I pop these away? Why are you still here? 
because you also have borders and bushes around the back. Oh, because they're different ones, right? Oh, seriously, they're all separate assets in Bob? Why? Oh, that's not that important. I'm not sitting there doing that. <laughs> I don't know why that's so awkward doing it like that. Um, yeah, it's under Bob, but it's under like a different thing on it. So it has like a left and right side. These ones aren't too bad, but the other side for some reason is like a forestry area. Let's make sure I didn't just misread that, right? Let's try it again. Or maybe I did. What the hell was I looking at then? It's worked anyway. Yeah, that's fine now. All right. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Um, so on the entrance into at least one of the sides of the entrance anyway, um, there's some little um, of these assets here, the oil storage. So this is going to saw oil raw material. Now, is that okay? Where is the nearest highway exit point here? We're quite far away at this point, aren't we? Probably this one here. We could do with building another connection onto this point as well, which we might do today. We'll see. Brad Stanton with the 10 Australian dollar super chat and it's two hearts, a red and a green. Thank you so much, Brad. Um, my red and green hearts back to you as well, mate. I think Brad, of all people as well, really enjoyed the collab over the weekend. <laughs> it was, uh, I think he had a nice time. Okay. So, I'm going to drop two in, but I'll justify my inclusion of them here. It's a match made in heaven, right? <laughs> if not, you could clip in a little office build. Actually, we, we could do that. We could clip in an office building with it. And then there's like three warehouses here. Four. And more car parking and... They look like parasols in storage, do they? They're probably not. Can we get a street view? I'm really curious as to what they are. Can we see them over the wall? Oh, it's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay, that is not at all what I was expecting. Okay, so there is a Ferris wheel over by the stadium. Oh, this will be the part of the fairground, won't it? Yes, okay, so this is the Arizona fairground. When it's active, that is. Okay, so that's important to note. So I'm guessing that's why it's so big, isn't it? Because the fairground is here. So they need that space. Do you want to get involved in a fairground? We could totally bring in some fairground vibes next to the stadium. I don't know. How horrifically is a Ferris wheel going to... Oh, hello. Small park. <laughs> There's no way to do it. Um, how horrifically is a Ferris wheel going to crash? Or clash, rather. Maybe not the part life one. Uh, <laughs> how about, um, uh, um, the unique, the unique's bloody enormous though, isn't it? The unique's massive. If I can find it. Um, I don't have the European theme active, do I? No. So none of my European assets are here. What a ball ache. Okay. So no to the unique then, because we don't have that activated, but we can switch it out. But the unique one's too big anyway. This one's going to be fine. Okay. If you clip in some commercial, maybe small high density units, the car park might fill up nicely. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. Um... I'm just trying to... Where are they? They're under... Is it commercial? Or are they in Find It? I think they might be in Find It, actually. 
Yes, those. I just saw them then. Where are we in? Was it office space? Yes, these. So these are office spaces that we can use Rico to reassign as commercial if we want. But they were sort of like this, weren't we? We grab both of them. And then do some finagling. With a little bit... Oh, it does change the terrain, though, underneath it. That's slightly irritating. Can I get away with that? Let's do the other one as well. I'm not sold on this at all, but we'll see what happens. Is it really making that much of a difference? I'm not entirely sure. Be Mike? Um, no, Tarek? It's not. Is the audio different? Are you guys hearing me okay? Have we turned on European? No, Karina, we haven't. <laughs> we haven't. Um... I feel like it's okay. Is that what we settle for in Ilos though? Just okay. Hmm. We'll, we'll leave them in. We'll leave them in. We'll see how it grows in us. I'm pretty sure they're going to be deleted though. <laughs> I'm already not feeling them, but we'll leave it in to see what we think. Maybe just put one in between the two. Could do. Okay, so how am I going to bring in the fairground into this? Um, the part life area is going to be best, isn't it? And I do have the gateless entrances now that I've been in Oridon. So one's a side and one's a main gate. Okay. Cool. This is very much a freeform idea, so bear with it. Let's also grab the gate. And to this side as well. Possibly with decorations, because the palms will be appreciated here, and of course now. The upgrading of the palms actually applies to the trees as well. Or to the pathways. So we can actually upgrade these into maybe some of the coconut palms. Mickey World. Why is it called that? <laughs> I've never seen it called Mickey World before. Okay. So of course the Ferris wheel is a very important aesthetic this one. So I'm not massively worried about this being gated. Or am I? Let's paint the part life area out. Yo, this is throwing a right little spanner in the works. I was not expecting to be messing about with various wheels near a stadium. I thought this was just industry, but it turns out it's actually a fairground. Don't you hate when that happens, when you mean to go to the fairground and you actually turn up at an industrial estate somewhere? <laughs> it happens to me all the time. Okay, um, let's go for some of these small little cute game store ones then, because these work quite nicely to create a little boundary. Let's go for one there, and then we can mimic these two. Apparently either side, although the, I've seen a couple of comments saying maybe get rid of the tiles, but I'm trying to convince myself that I don't actually hate them here. Um, amusement park tiles. Can we get rid? Okay, so that just brings it a concrete error. Or texture, rather. Okay, Ed going into free form ideas, prepare for lots of umming and ahhing with some high key and decisiveness, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I couldn't have described that better myself. Um, 
Carousel. This is the carousel I should have used in Oridon, not the park one. This one's a bit nicer, isn't it? Maybe looking to fix in the error. I have, Tim. I've not found a fix for it, mate. Which is why it's still there. Don't like the gate. The gate is messing with the path texture. Get shut. I think we're probably going to bring this out in a slightly different direction as well. Let's come off of road length. Oh, no. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> what that? Can I just undo? Oh, no, I can't either. Are we okay? Yes, everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Yeah, so the path connection doesn't really connect that well with parking lot roads. It does a little bit further down here. Which I think I'm willing to accept as a path boundary. Again, with decorations, it's probably going to be preferable. And let's add in some of those date palms as well. You can swap them out for the other tiles. I might have a look at that. That's bizarre. There's no fix. Maybe it's from one of the other mods that cause it. There might be a fix for it, Tim. I just haven't found it yet. I've been, I was Googling this morning trying to find a fix for it. And there's people like as far back as 2017 that have had the extended index issue or whatever it's called. I'll just not manage to find a fix for it yet. It's something tied to Ilos as well because I didn't have it in Oridon and a few candy was getting it as well. So it's definitely something wrong with Ilos. Um, let's turn off the snap in here. Come back onto the road and then let's delete that pillar. That should be okay. Very tricky build this one. I might move the industrial assets over this side of the road. Let's have a look at some of the other tiles. Um, so it's these ones we got, wasn't it? Let's replace them. So we can go for... I think the high tiles are quite nice, right? What do they look like? Okay. I think I'm on board with it. That looks really cool next to all the tiered transport, do we think? I like the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel surrounded by palms is quite a nice aesthetic, isn't it? It's definitely a mod. E6 didn't get it when he was sorting the collection. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a mod then. That was the first hour I started seeing before the great next two crashed. Or don't say that, Arutha. Put the fear of God into me. I don't want to lose Ilos. Fencing. Lots and lots of fencing here. Let's bring it up around this side. We'll just come straight through. Should be okay. Onto an angle snap. Did I just draw that in? Yes, I did. Let's delete that. over like this. And then over to this point and then it can might as well continue actually to be fair there's no point why it should stop here let's make it run with the tram line up until the car park and then we can do some more detail around here as well so is there any essential assets that we're not missing out on the drop tower ride is also a very significant spike in height but definitely a ride you would see at a fairground Okay. I'm making a City Skyline series. Are you, Ryan? If you're still here at the end, mate, remind me. And I'll uh, plug your channel with the viewers.
it kind of works. It's big. <laughs> it's really big. But I think it's... It. Oh, it stands right in front of the skyline here as well, doesn't it? Are we on board with the Dipper ride? I think I am. There's a lot of orange houses here. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it in. We'll see what we think. Roller coaster's way too big, way too big. Bumper cars is pretty cute. I think I'm happy to have this in here. Place that one in there. Can we bring another pathway down without connecting to the road? Yes, we can. That's fine then. That's going to flush out my texture as I want it. Not on board, to be honest. Why is it so phallic? If, if someone's asking that about a build, then it definitely shouldn't be included. House of Horrors, no. I just, I, I just want the little portable rides, like stuff they can stick on the back of a truck and just take it to a fairground whenever they want. Okay, I'm also going to paint out the sand texture. It's on the front of these as well, since we're not connecting them into a frontage network, they will just kind of sit here. Which is fine, I'm not adverse to that. Okay, it's a very small amusement park, but... It has a place, I think. Let's get into some of the bottom ones as well, like the souvenir shops and stuff like that. And, um... Restrooms. Does the cafe? Does the part life not? Yes, there it is. Part life cafe. I was just about to say, does it not have a cafe? But it does. We will use Bob to get rid of the tiles as well. Don't worry. Okay. Why can't I find the tram only roads and the roads with the tram median? And um, the roads with the tram median is from Vanilla Plus roads. And what was your other question? Tram only roads. Tram only roads are Snowfall DLC. They should be in your tram menu. Yeah. Tram tracks, they're called. Yeah, definitely more fairground than Disney World. Yeah, definitely. No roller coasters or anything like that. Just kind of really cheap, nasty rides that year. Sort of place you take your kids to when you can't be asked doing anything proper. That sort of place. I think I'm going to go with the high tiles as well. Oh, wait. No, because it's not called high, is it? It's just called tile. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's... I actually kind of don't mind that in a blue circle. I think I'm going to keep that. The inner blue and red. That tiles. Place with high. Very nice. It's tedious work, but it's honest. <laughs> you know, it's honest work, isn't it? Placing tiles with Bob. Uh, building my all my area right now. Loving every minute of it. Nice Canadian gamer. What style have you gone with? Have you going like a massive like ore quarry? Or are you fairly low key? Do this one either. And we should place them with height. Go. Cool. Need to actually remember to place them. Be good if they could add like the functionality to do a set of assets at once. But they don't. So we're here. Let's have a little shout out for um, where we're watching from in the world, why this is going on. Because I realise this is immensely boring. Let's see where everyone's watching from. Do feel free to shout out your country in the live chat. 
see how diverse and broad we are across the planet this week. Okay, one more to go. No, I think we're okay. Okay. Took the breath out of me, that. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. I think I definitely prefer the blue tiles, though. That's a lot nicer, isn't it? Nicole V with a five pound. Am I just scrolling away? <laughs> so sorry, Nicole. Nicole with a five Canadian dollar super chat. Heading to Whistler for the day, but have a great rest of the stream and a happy Saturday night, Queen. No worries, Canole. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, thank you so much for stopping by on the stream. Lovely. Have a safe journey up to Whistler. And then we'll hopefully see some picks in, in there at the Discord once you're back. Okay. Let's see where everyone's from. So many. Uh, here we have Florida. UK, Leicestershire. Hey, Karina. Yes, Leicestershire now. Permanently as well soon. Amazing. Turkey, Washington, San Antonio, Italy. Missouri, Copenhagen, Bavaria. <laughs> of course, Brad. Ontario, Palestine, the US. Somerset, Oslo. Yorkshire, not far away from me, Muddy. From Germany, hey, Scope, welcome in. Detroit, Victoria, another Ontario, Perth, Michigan, Marburg, from Ottawa, Canada, a lot of Canadians in tonight, Lancashire, no, you're not far from me either Stuart, you're not far from me either mate, okay, overgrowth time, let's start bringing in some of the ILOS palette into the areas that aren't being used, we can delete my Oridon brush now, Oh dear, no. Nope, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> it's way too, way too narrow a space for forest brush. I'll have to do this manually. Um, let's go into some small bushes. Let's go for lots and lots of brown weeds. If we can find them. Saguaros as well. But would you really get saguaros near a fairground? I feel that might be a bit dangerous. We'll place a few. And then... These little orange numbers of things as well, little pops of colour against the fencing is going to be quite nice. Sao Paulo, Brazil, Colorado, Lincolnshire, Vietnam. I think that's the furthest we've got. Uh, Mangon, I think Vietnam is the f well, fur furthest than me anyway. Yeah. Shropshire. Istanbul, Turkey. I have visited Turkey once before I met. We went to, um, is it Kushadisi? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's on the west coast, on the Mediterranean. Or Kusadasi, I think. One of those two. I can't quite remember the exact pronunciation, but it was nice. We had, um... Oh, there's a little Mehmet. You might know what it's called. It's, um... We ate it every night. It's kind of like a Turkish pizza. It comes on like a bread. I can't remember the name of it, but it's just amazing. It's so beautiful. It's just like proper fresh Mediterranean food. It's just ideal. But I can't remember what it's called. It's like a pizza on a bread. If anyone else is also familiar. Pide, yes, that's it. That's the EMB. Pida, yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. Pida. Yeah, Turkish Pida is beautiful. It's like it's like pizza. The second pronunciation. Pida, is that it? Or Pide? Which one did I say? <laughs> I can't remember now. I've already forgotten. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Okay, yeah, that's really nice food, Mehmet. I've had that before as well. Wellington, New Zealand. Definitely the furthest away then. <laughs> a sign. Yeah, that's further than, than Vietnam. Um, I feel like I'm... I need to get rid of these Oridon trees, man. That's going to be a, a big clash. I feel like he doesn't want many trees. So it's going to start blocking the view, really, isn't it? And we're looking for overgrowth here. Oh, he was on a boat. Um, Kusadasi minor. Yes, that makes sense. Peter with spinach and feta. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I'm glad there's some love for Peter in the in the live chat. It is delicious. Okay, I think I'm really happy with that to fill out kind of a corner of the stadium area, right? 
just a kind of small naff background. Okay. I do want to move some of the nodes over there. I'm carrying on bringing in some of that amusement park fence in. There we go. Oh, is that there we go there? Is that disgusting? Because it's clipping through the palm trees. Let's try that again. Okay. Lebanese, Turkish, and Palestine food is to die for. It really is. There's some beautiful dishes in those cuisines. I actually have like a little Lebanese spice shaker thing in my cupboard. I do like Middle Eastern food. It's really good. Okay. I made a chard or char and feta sauce for my pasta for lunch. That sounds really nice, EMB. I didn't realise you were a, a man of culture, EMB. Talking about such... <laughs> such nice sounding dishes. Yeah. It's nice to know that we have some, um... Culinary fans in the, in the community. Is that the right word? Culinary? I think it is, isn't it? Like a missing grasses, possibly some rocks as well here. It's just a little desert garden, I suppose, isn't it? It's nothing too major. A couple of these little shady red rose bushes will be appreciated too. Oh yes, look at the walkability now. Yes, please everyone. How many anyone cycling? Yes, so far. We definitely need to detail the front of this stadium here. Okay. Cheap food stall. Uh, green City stalls to go along and behind the warehouses. Over here. But yeah, I'm not adverse to that, actually. That's not a bad shout. Okay. Yeah, let's go for some green cities. Because really, the more commercial that's around this area, the better. Because it's going to start helping the car parks fill up, which is important. So we'll go for a couple of these. We'll just place down kind of a batch and then do a little bit of beautifying builds and finagling with Move It. To create what we want. Let's get a couple of these little container ones down. These little tiered boys as well. Something like that. Well, these and maybe one kind of main asset super public market. Does that sound nice? Or that one? That one's quite nice. That one. I think that's a little more Phoenix, isn't it? This is a really underrated asset, actually. This red brick green cities one. Raven Wolf with a two Australian dollar super chat. It's, <laughs> it's time for the Thunderbox. You had the Thunderbox last week, Raven. Where was it? I can't even remember now. Was it over here? It was in this... It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, there should be a park. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Thunderbox is over here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your super chat, Raven. Really appreciate it, mate. I guess we could... We can't keep naming every restroom Thunderbox. I guess we could just replace the word restrooms. So we'll do it amusement park. Thunderbox number one. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, Raven. Welcome to the stream, mate. Okay, so let's start adjusting and configuring. Uh, you guys are quite tasty and probably deserve to be on the edge of the road, if not the entrance, because of the hedge that comes with it. So let's do that. Then I'm almost wanting to basically extend that texture with the sand off of the back of this first asset. So if I can keep everyone in line 
up until that point without breaking their connection, I think we'll be okay. Let's see if we can do a little triplet of these guys. Possibly quadruplet, we'll see. Okay, these seem to be registering their connection. This is good news. Let's drag these boys over, give them a little flipper rooney as well. Oop. Is that the right way? Mm, it is now. Okay, and then we will finagle and move up. Yes, they're not the right way, but the hedge out on the front is an a nice aesthetic, so I'm keeping it. Maybe we can do like a little bit of sort of closed admin here, or not admin, that's not the right word. Hey Will, welcome to the stream mate, and Big Todd uh, with a 5 year stall super chat, awesome build, keep it up, thank you so much Big Todd, glad you're enjoying it mate. And uh, yeah, thank you, glad you're enjoying it, appreciate the super chat buddy. Let's move this back a little bit, spin this one around as well, endless finagling available with green cities and move it. Okay, so bear with me, so now I want to make sure that this sand texture repeats it well basically replaces all of the concrete up until like there though yeah even on the big building too just sand here might as well take it to the back actually there's no point leaving that empty okay up to this point too and we are getting people walking from the pathway in the park there so that is uh, registering as a connection, which is good. That's going to help keep people moving around. And then we can just bring up the pathway to be flush with where they are actually entering. So I've also got some props that we can use for detailing now. Um, included but not limited to um, tables, which is tremendously exciting. So we can maybe get some small ones out on the front there. Some sort of beer tent or recreational vibes here. Actually, the gazebos from Part Life might bring us a nice sort of beer tent vibe if we like. I think we'll start bringing in some trees behind as well. Let's go for some of our taller looking tree sets over this way. Possibly some smaller little cute numbers and definitely some sparse lines of base game overgrowth. We get some swearers in here too. Okay. That has blended together insanely well. I did not think it would have come out looking anything like that. <laughs> there was nothing like it. Yeah, that's nothing like it. Love this. The container assets are the best, aren't they just? What about a Burning Man kind of thing? Going nuts on a festival ground build. I don't know what Burning Man is, EMB. Is that a festival, is it? I'm assuming so. Joshua Tree's beautiful. Been there once a photography trip. Sounds good, Sargon. Green Cities community approves, of course, Joy would. Joy is on commission for Green Cities. Hey, Kirsten, welcome to the stream. On a match day, I bet this place would be heaving. Yes, it would. It really would. Be a nice place to come on a match day, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, don't forget industrial props. Yeah, that's a good shout, JJ. Let's drop some out the front of this so it's not just sand. And um, let's filter down into industries, and we've got some of these. Is that a Canadian maple leaf flag? I think it is, isn't it? Are these Canadian boxes? Just crates too, apparently. These have definitely been made by a Canadian though, right? <laughs> 100%. That little... It's like the calling card of the Canadians, just a stray maple leaf. Um, okay. 
Could get some shipping container vibes in here as well if we wanted to. Maybe use them to divide the boundaries. Just a little dual placement of them. It's a giant artsy festival out in the desert. Okay, I'll have to look at it, mate. If we can do some stuff like that for sure, yeah. I'll probably use the concerts DLC, actually. Uh, where's my little pallets gone? These ones. I like these. Uh, probably extend the fence up to the main road as well. It's only a very small change, but... Again, glancing back to the inspiration in Phoenix, it's flush with the road until you enter into the stadium itself. Okay. There's a misaligned lamppost in the parking lot. Is there? Oh, yes. Where has that come from? Why are you there? Are you a different road? You must be. Yeah, that's why. Um, Good spot, Andre. That was a good spot, mate. Okay, I'm really happy with that corner. I wasn't expecting to be. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting it to turn out anything like that, but it's worked out all right. Okay, very nice indeed. I uh, definitely want to come over to the front of this area now. That is a big parking lot. <laughs> indeed it is, isn't it? Bloody massive. It's huge. So again, just kind of glancing around the stadium in Phoenix, it's, there's not vast amounts around the actual outside of it. It is very much just on its own concrete open plaza, if you like. A Raven Wolf with a 5 Australian Dollar Super Chat. Coming to Ilos is a great getaway from all the water we're dealing with in uh, SEQ, Queensland, is it? Southeast Queensland, is that where you are, Raven? No, the... Um, East coast of Australia is getting battered by flooding at the minute, isn't it? But hope you're safe, Raven. I'm glad Ilos can give you a little bit of a getaway, mate. I do appreciate you hanging out on the streams. So again, in vain, or an attempt to keep filling the spots. Well, the car parking spots, I think a little bit of high-density commercial. And um, playing with the little stalls and the stands. Hopefully, going to keep a few more people over this way. And again, I think pathways and walkability back to the tram line are going to help start introducing some larger repeated themes here. Okay, let's bring one on the other side as well. And definitely feeling, actually, you know what I do have now is those cute little adorable planters. Yeah, the terrace planters are easily my new favorite asset. These are amazing. Yeah, terrace planter net concrete. Just so nice. And we can run these in little batches along the width of the arterial roads now to decorate and highlight important infrastructure. I think I can get away with it. I think I can. Let's bring in the pattern on this side as well. I'm going to want to make sure we draw out from this side as well. So we're having the little terraced bit on the front of the road. Because it is directional. Sensitive. It does change which side the little tear layer comes down onto. Them network bushes do use nodes, it's fine. I'm I'm willing to sacrifice a few thousand nodes for that. <laughs> for my um my detailing. Okay. Maybe make the terrace plant look a, a little more arid. Um I do kind of like its big landscape vibe to be fair. Can you beautify 
Oh, you can. Ooh, this is interesting. <laughs> we can beautify the build. Okay, so we can remove all those bushes off that top layer. Okay. How about if we replace these with a palm or something? Not that. <laughs> not that. that looks terrible. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, you could. You could. I feel like I'm happy with the base one, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. I think. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. Southeast Queensland, we've got severe storm warnings again for tonight. Oh, it sucks, Raven. Stay safe, buddy. We get bad flood season drowned here, too, so I know what a ball late flooding is. Just destroys everything, mate. Stay safe. These look great. Glad you think so, Sarah. He's not concerned about nodes. We are, mate. We're very concerned about nodes. We had a little chat about nodes at the start of the stream. <laughs> nodes are quickly running out. Oh, do you know what would be good, actually? Is if we line the tram line with these little planters. Is this... Am I, I feel like I'm going to be using these all the time now, though. How about instead of flanking the arterial, we line the tram line with them? Let's just get a little sense of what this looks like. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so nice. And then let's delete the one that sits against the arterial. Okay. So. How about lining a tram line with them instead? I think I'm definitely on board with this idea. High lines in a tram line is always something that should be done in my book. Hello, Egg. So glad to catch an OE special live stream. Welcome, Zach. Thanks for um, stopping by, mate. Welcome to the stream. The base one is nice. Always worth a play around, though. There's another one, isn't there? Empty concrete. Is this a different one? Yes, it's empty. Who would have known? <laughs> With a name like empty on it. We're running out of nodes. Time to double up the decorative network. That's true, B and B. That is true. Maybe just one side then. Maybe just one side. And then we can have like pathways that link back into. Because I do need to. I do need to be careful with nodes. They are running out. Just one side or double sided? I will let chat decide whilst we have a little posture check and a hydration break everyone. My apologies it is the hour and 20 minutes and it's the first one. We're all dehydrated and hunched over now. <laughs> Thanks to me. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. We got 106 should be here as well, everyone. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I like it by the tram line. This is much better. One side, double sided. Widen the sidewalk up to the terrace back. What do you mean, JJ? Widen the sidewalk. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, do it double and then paint it out. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, but it's a, it's a tram line, isn't it? Arse is about with surface painter. You can still do it, though. you just got to, like, paint over it twice. Or like this. Let me just give an impression of what this would look like. Could paint all this out. Basically, just paint it up to like there, right? And we can basically have that. I think I prefer this with the painted surface and sitting against the stadium. Yeah, and have it like that. I think that's the style. That's the vibe that we're after, I think. I do think that lots of very open, concrete -y plaza is very important around these stadia builds. Okay, let's do that on the other side as well then. Now that we're happy with the pallet. Uh, will these snap onto fences, I wonder? I'm assuming they will. It's like a same node or network, right? Um, some for fences. Wait, no. It was in find it, wasn't it? Um, 
so unorganized. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in here. We will find them. But what am I doing? Just bloody eye drop them. Idiot. There we go. Yes, they will snap the fence nodes. Okay. Some very nice possible repeated patterns there, actually. Okay, I'm dried up like a raisin and slouched across my chair. How dare you <laughs> rely on these checks? I know. I'm sorry, mate. I'm really sorry. I'll try harder next time. And um, so they really want to break, actually, before they come into the main plaza. So we'll have them come up to the edge of the pathway, and then we can readjust the surface painter there, too. For a dollar a day, you can contribute to us. Yeah, it's like a charity, like fundraising thing now, isn't it? I do love Ilos. Ilos is going to die without your support. <laughs> Click this link to donate. No, it's um, we should we should be okay. Like we have to bear in mind that the node count has been eaten up so rapidly because the Margrid is so dense. Not the entire map is going to be Margrid, so it'll start to calm down as we move away from this project. In like four or five episodes time, however long is left over here, before we start doing some rural stuff. Which can't wait for. <laughs> I can't wait to start doing rural US Southwestern. Oh, some like old abandoned like prospecting mines and these old rickety towns with like power lines going through them. Just yes please. That's gonna be a very nice time in Ilos when we get to the rural side of things. Little while's away yet though, not quite there yet. Paint these out again. Try and match up some surface painters the best we can. I'm actually happy for the... Actually, no, I'm not. That looks crap. Let's not do that. There we go. That's what I want. And same in here again as well. Surface painter is a lot easier to use when you're on these northeast, south and west points. So when you're on an angle, it becomes a ball lake. -like. That as well. Possibly planters for the palms in here now too. I'm actually maybe not even palms. I think junipers. I think junipers are a little more understated. Let's go for that. Okay. Is there a mod to increase the node count? And um, there is a few things you can do to bring your node count back down. You can use a mod called No Need for Water Pipes, which removes all the nodes taken up by your water pipes, which is a lot. Um, we found that out in Palavan. That's actually how we saved Palavan. Uh, by deleting all the water pipes. But there is also a mod in development called, I think it's Extended, Extended Managers Library. And it's going to like have the functionality of like 81 tiles. Anarchy is in there as well, I think. It's basically combining like a bunch of the major mods into one thing. And within Extended Marges Library, they're also looking to increase the node count. So totally remove it or increase it, I believe. If Exe or Karina are still in the chat, they can probably advise you a lot better on Extended Marges Library than I can. But it's coming, at least. Yeah, definitely Juniper's here. A lot more understated. A lot cleaner. Okay, let's also get some... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Just stop it. Use the roads. Driving through my hedges. Yeah, let's also get some pathway connections up onto this as well. Just so people can make use of that concrete space. Should actually see it become walkable. There we go. Okay. I feel like the palms want to go outside the stadium. That's where we want them. Let's go for a couple more planters. Oh, I do like these little shot front ones though. Quite small for this area. Okay, so let's go for some smalls. We'll go for a repeatable pattern. Go for four on each side. Apologies if you can hear the forestry truck 
currently driving past my house. Okay. Then palms in these. This should be a nice time. Let's go for... Mm. I want to go for you. Yes, I think we will. It looks like we're in the clipping radius of the parking lot road there, so we'll use move it to copy and paste the tree. Here we go. Okay, that's much more what I had in mind. I feel like the palms are blocking a lot of the front of the arena. Okay. Okay, extended managers allows nodes, mods to add nodes. It won't be that mod that allows extra. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. E6. How do I know it was forestry? Um, I have a lumber yard up the white like, five minutes up the road from me. The trucks always pass straight by my house when they're leaving. Okay, so let's go for some cafes in here now. There's a little ideal space where we can squeeze some of these assets in now here. Hopefully without encroaching on the existing infrastructure too much. There we go. That's going to maintain its connection there, just on a slight angle. Do it would work really nicely here too. Oh, you won't fit. <laughs> you will. I will make you fit somehow. Um, the information booth from the Part Life DLC works very nicely as kind of a ticket office sort of vibe. I think I'm just a little bit too shallow. Um, if I can beautify the trees away, it'll be okay. Yeah, let's get rid of the sugar maples and the planters as well. Um, where are they? No, I don't think we can remove the planters, right? No, okay. I'm just trying to force it into a place it's not going to fit. That's fine, though. I definitely have a restroom over here too. Again, spinning them on their axis is going to save a little bit of space. Make sure we're not clipping with the main pavement as well. Let's also bring in another invisible pathway through here because we have the service painted down. Okay. Not too bad. What have I missed in the stream so far? Um, this, basically, mate. We've been working on this uh, basketball stadium build. I'm um, looking at inspo from Google Earth uh, to bring this thing together. Pretty much it. Okay. Okay. So I definitely want to continue the concrete vibes that are coming out of this place. So let's snap into a grid. With a regular vanilla pathway. Gonna bring this down and then again we're going to come up to meet the middle's kind of central reservations. And then hopefully we can just use this planter now to continually design this area so it essentially sort of surrounds the whole stadium eventually. Like this you know. I'm happy to do some more sort of overgrown gardens in there as well. So I just basically paint all this area out. At least up until there. And then we'll manually paint out the pathways. There you go. Do sort of three notches on the surface painter. Okay. And then again. 
we grab these and make sure that we're snapping into that same orientation so the terrace sits on the right side. We'll see how this looks for decorating one side of the car park. It should look quite nice, I think. But it does also have the possibility to uh, pull off a slight bum cheek vibe if it's not going to be appropriate. You've forgotten alt rotate? No. Well, I, have, I haven't forgotten it, I just didn't use it then. But yeah, <laughs> I don't remember alt rotate for move it. I have to go, unfortunately, remember my channel. I'll try, Ryan. I'll try, remember, mate. Still waiting for coconuts to smash those windscreens. How busy is that coconut car park, actually? Because even, like, my car park designs, these are taking up so many nodes. There's the, the planter things. The actual roads themselves, the borders and the, the drivers and the fillers. They're very node intensive, those big parking lot car parks. So I think once we've got some, you know, do we have any residential demand? Very, very small amount. Um, I want some residential just sat at the foreground of this. I think I'm going to carry on using the little frontage network that we established a couple of episodes ago. Let's go back into snapping. Road length here as well. Wish zoning adjuster would go away. Let's do three tiles around the edge. Um, this probably wants to go now as well. Yes, it doesn't really belong here anymore. And then this one over here is just regular uh, two-lane road. So we'll bring this in as well. No, we won't actually. We're going to stay with this small road all the way through. Oh. And I'm going to fix that index error tonight. It's becoming immensely irritating. Um, do we have a district theme over here? We should do. Mm, yes, we do. Okay, let's just bring it down to this one so we can have that same theme. Let's definitely want some residentials. Start at the foreground of this. Happy to have them here as well. Of course, we've got our own custom theme here, so the assets are going to be ones that we've all selected. Again, there's possibilities now where we can repeat a similar design, not exactly the same, but just by using the vanilla pathways and a little bit of service painter now to essentially mimic the courtyard on the other side, but without the planters this time. And this should frame this arterial road really nicely. Be a little fountain over here or something, or some like kids' playground stuff because there's residential nearby. Okay, and I'm just going to manually plop in some houses so we can see the effect. Uh, let's just go for no custom ones. Let's place some vanilla ones. We'll have you, you, and you guys. You are pretty southwestern looking. Let's place a few more in. Okay. And then, oh yes, look, there's someone walking through the middle reservation on the on the car park. That's good. I think once this gets really busy and there's a match day here, we're going to see loads of people walking back and forth between all these little crossing areas up to the stadium as well. You can use the planter props and prop line tool for your car parks. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I think you forgot to connect the elevated bicycle path with the suburban paths. Um, yes, I did. I removed the connection, didn't I? I removed the connection. Good shout, Zach. Yeah, there was one here. There you go. Reconnected. 
And one can probably come off down here now as well. Let's come off collision. So bring down a little curve and then we'll continue straight so it doesn't look quite as nasty. And then a few little palms and rocks all knocking about around this cycle junction. We'll give it a little more personality as well, I think. An ice cream van. Could do that. Ice cream van would be a good shout over here, I think. Hey smoking. Welcome into the stream, mate. Let's bring some of these around. That's going to be acceptable. I think definitely some content creator grasses too. Always a fan of these. Around the smaller rocks perhaps and maybe just threatening to poke through on the larger ones. And some coconut palms of course. And date palms. And a single California. And I can't stop making palm gardens. <laughs> Someone could help. Like my family's not going to hear off me for like three weeks and eventually break into my house to find me slumped over the PC making palm gardens. Covered in my own shit. Yes, an ice cream van. Yes, let's do that. Let's do an ice cream van. Um, let's go for the part prop. This one over here. Where's the pathway? Right against there, isn't it? Yeah. Little last screen, Ben. Let's see, map puts at the front. I'm not too keen on having a lot of decoration, if not for some repeated tree patterns on this. I might also try and keep this little concrete reservation going down this entire arterial road. As it come, it can almost be like an entrance into the city. You know, like you kind of you come off the highway here. And then you've got this big concrete run up into the stadiums and the clock tower. You know, something like that. Vibes to get on board with as we head east in Ilos. I guess this is west, isn't it? Yes, this is west. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely over here. Little ice cream vans. When is the next match day? I will be very keen to see a vast amount of people arrive here. It was cancelled. What, did they have COVID? Why did they cancel it? <laughs> I want to see. I want to see a match day. Stop cancelling them. When's the next one? The 20th of October. When's that? This year. It's in five months. Okay. We'll wait five months then. The little climbing gym near the homes. Oh, from the part life one. The little climbing frame. I'm actually, on second thought, I think I might want this to be grass. And then we'll do a little play area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> That's good. Yes, climbing frame and decoration vibes. I've also got a few Candy Custom Park installed as well. So we'll use that. Uh, let's go for grass here. Yes, let's do grass. Let's do sand. Sarah Ducky with a 10 Australian doll super chat. Um, love the palm garden. Need a bench and a sign. Thank you so much, Sarah. Totally agree. And uh, yes, let's drop, a, let's drop a bench in and a sign as well. Um, I'm assuming it's this palm garden that you want, right? We'll drop it in facing the um, library. But I agree. Thank you so much for the super chat, lovely. Really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying the Hylos detailing. And a big tree as well. It's kind of law, isn't it? It's City Skylines law. That there has to be a large tree that accompanies a bench and a sign. Go for an iron bark. We, do, we very rarely use this one. Or the hardwood. A little bin as well, maybe. Fantastic. I feel some of your intersections need more node control and IMT, love. 
Yeah, they probably could do, to be fair. Um, we did do the, the big box stuff. That was nicely marked up, right? Did all this stuff over here. I love this design. Such sort a of nice way of using a roundabout. But yeah, I feel like we've not got much over here. I agree. Have we done a prison compound here yet? Uh, yes, we have. We have Sarah Ducky. Uh, not Sarah Ducky, sorry. Got Sarah on the mind. Um, Kira Mist. Uh, yes, this is the prison complex, which is currently burning down. But uh, yes, we did a prison build with props and uh, bad peanuts, little prison collection stuff on the workshop. Little running track out here as well with the worker barracks. Yeah, doing a prison. Nice. Yeah, throw back to the Rock Gardens of Palavan, as always, Sarah, as always. <laughs> Love the Rock Gardens in Palavan. And then a few candy with a 449 super chat. Almost got my subscriber fees. Palm Gardens for the win. Thank you so much, PC. And then, yes, Palm Gardens for the win, indeed. They are very much a repeating theme in Ilos. You guys are going to become gravel as well. Might keep this as sand going, or grass rather, which technically is sand in this theme, but you know what I mean. Like these ones. Um, dang, I missed that build. I'll go look it up and watch that later today. Yes, it was maybe like four weeks ago we did the prison, was it? Yeah, four weeks ago, something like that. Thank you so much as well for you, see for the super chat. I can't remember if I said thank you or not. I think I did. Terrible memory. But thank you for the super chat, lovely. Really appreciate it. I know for those that haven't seen or heard about the Few Candy collab over the weekend, if you're wondering why there wasn't an episode of Eyelash yesterday, it's because it's on Few Candy's channel. Few Candy did a little medical build with an apartment complex and a racetrack. It's the best thing. <laughs> go and watch it and I built it already done as well um, so let's use Fusey's little mini park that she made we'll, we'll name it as well since she did make it herself there we go can we name this we should do yeah we go for what few gardens or something it would help if my caps lock wasn't on few gardens okay also come back into the world of vanilla assets and oh, I've not quite left myself nothing for dog park on the corner. We can drop it there though. I'm happy with that. And then let's not forget to jump into the world of part life props and start playing with some of the little climbing frames or jungle gyms, depending what you call them. Actually, I would be interested to know in the live chat, what would you call this? It's a high level slide complex in cities, but is this like a jungle gym or a playground where you live? What would you actually call it? It's like little kids play sets like this that are made out of plastic that reach a thousand degrees in the summer. Well, actually sear off your skin <laughs> you just slide down them. Little merry-go-round as well. A couple of these. Some of the smaller seesaw looking appliances in the middle. Definitely with a shady tree. Definitely with a shady tree. Especially a live oak. Something like that, okay. A Kiara Mist with a Kiara Mist one with a ten US dollar super chat and it's a or super sticker and it's the pair doing the number one fan dance. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kiara. I really appreciate the support, lovely. Um I'm glad you're enjoying the the uh, the videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate the super chat. Playgrounds? Soft play. This isn't soft play, Eggsy. This isn't soft play, mate. Soft play is like padded indoor stuff. Where you take toddlers so they can launch themselves into the walls. And not horrifically injure themselves at the same time. I feel like I maybe want this on the corner. Something like that. I think I'm definitely down for a cafe over here as well. So maybe like the parents can just like stick their kids in the playground. And then come and grab a coffee. Something like that. Um, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of part props. Why is that? Got some benches in where they can observe said children, I suppose. 
if you want. Okay. Plant Life Cafe. Are you going to merge out past my fence in? Well, you are if I don't bob away the dumpster, which we should be able to. Uh, small recycling container. That's the one. Let's get sure of that. BOB has turned out to be like immensely useful. Such a handy little mod. Okay, I'm going to paint out this grass or sand texture as well. We'll make it kind of an OP or open sort of sandy eating area. That's fairly sort of not neglected, but not particularly well maintained either. If we want to start giving some character and personality into the builds today. Hey, I watched a few Candy's episode, but I lost my direction on the video. Where is it in location to where we are? Um, so we are just next to the University of Tucson. And Few Candy's build is essentially a, a mile north because each of these frames are half mile grids. So she's like a mile up from the university. Yeah, so right against the highway. It's currently the most northern or southern build in the city. Yeah. It's over there. <laughs> it's over there. You're very welcome. Love watching your builds every chance I get. Oh, thank you, Kiara. That's really nice. Um, okay. Yeah, I want the nature reserve tables here. These little wooden ones, not the part life metal ones. Then we'll dive into bins again. Let's go for one on either side. We'll also extend the fence down a touch just so it marks off a nice border between the building and everything else. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use fencing for that. We'll use some of the hedges. Which, yes, you can use prop line tool, but it's only a very small space. It's quicker just to do it yourself. Okay. All right, let's see what props we've got in Find It as well. Yeah, here we go. There's a little bit more here, isn't there? Little bonsai pots. We can use stuff from the pills from the East DLC, maybe. The tables are great. Kind of like my parents hang out there where you play with the other kids. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going for in Unholy Grail. That's exactly what we're going for. The, the Nature Reserve bench. Can sometimes be nice for play areas. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Yeah. It's like a little log, isn't it? Yeah, this one. Should we do that instead of the actual benches then? Actually, no. We'll leave the actual benches in, but we'll plop a few of these around the playground. Almost as like the kids can arse about and balance on them. Okay. Couple of those. And we'll definitely keep the regular part benches in. Or maybe the ones without the backs on them. No, actually, because they're horrific to sit on. They have, like, no lumbar support at all. Not that it matters. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can you can respect. Respect the spinal alignment, everyone. <laughs> this is the take home from today's episode. Let's get some little junipers in here as well. Just to introduce a touch of slightly heavier landscaped area with some little pops of colour, if we can. Oh, yes, like those. Okay. Are we going to get a Palavan Memorial Park in Ilos with the almighty Palavan Pine? Um, probably not, because I can't actually get the Palavan Pine in this map because it's tied to the theme, and this is not a boreal theme, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't know how I would get it in. Unless I can download it as an asset, then I could do it. And we did have someone say to add in embassies for Palavan and Navaria, which we will certainly do. 
Too bad they don't actually use them. Yes, it is, isn't it? It is. Can we see nighttime? Yes, we can. We can have a little nighttime glance across the new build. Fairgrounds turned out wonderfully. I think as well here, I want to stagger the, tra the tram stop. So one will stop here, the other one will stop at the adjacent line. Or adjacent end, rather. Why we come, CS content, why we stay, posture advice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys like the posture advice, don't you? Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? It's coming together. This is really what I wanted, this big, empty, concrete expanse up to essentially a, a big spike in height in the stadium. This is very much the aesthetic we're after today. Trees are tied to the theme. They tried to the like the the base game vanilla trees are uh, obviously you can download tree assets. Like I've got all the Douglas first stuff here from my collab in Oridon. But like the base game trees, if you're just looking at sort of this stuff, like this is a tropical theme, so I get the palm trees and stuff. If you're looking at the vanilla trees, and um, where we can just look at city skylines, I don't have access to the pines here because it's tropical. They only have the palms and stuff and these big ass bushes in the tropical theme. So the vanilla palaban pine is not in palaban because it's not boreal. But if I can get it as an asset, then it will be. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's go for another asset here. If we can. What are you? I do quite like that actually. That works nicely as a ticket office. Which asset is that? The amusement park restroom. Okay, I'm down for that. Okay. Are we going to have a snowman coven behind the Navari Embassy? Again, I think the snowman assets. No, they're not. Yeah, they're just doing with the DLC, not the map theme. Yes, we can still do a snowman coven. And behind the Navari Embassy, yes, absolutely, we will do. We will. Yeah, we will. Okay, um, so let's actually come back to the car parking now because we've not been back here for a little bit and look at some disabled spots. So it's really these ones that I need, isn't it? So we'll just make... Yes, this makes sense, I believe, right? If we continually add in... the disabled spaces to and there would be a lot of disabled parking here right at a stadium this big but having them this close to the stadium is going to make the most sense right at least this end of the car park anyway well for the Palavan Embassy it's going to have to be the asset that most truly reflects Palavan which I'm not really sure what that is like for the embassy itself, like the building. I don't know. What asset would that be? You can't use the office skyscraper from the Japanese content creator pack. It's too big for Eyeless. That won't be in here. Okay. This seems to be appropriate. I think at McDonald's as well. I feel like there will be some fast food nearby. There always is in stadiums in the UK. So you can just grab some quick and easy on your way out. Have I mismeasured these car parks? How many do we have here? Three. There's three over here. Yeah, that's fine. Just looked really weird in this orientation then for some reason. We're just about to mention that. There you go, Raven. And the Big Todd with a 10 US dollar super chat. Love the revisit of your old city with the new airport. Love that city. Thank you so much, Big Todd. Yeah, it's been a it's been a hot minute since we've been back in Bugazi, hasn't it? I'm glad to hear you enjoyed it though. Thank you, mate. And I really appreciate the super chat. And we'll definitely go back to Fremwood and do Fremwood's airport as well. 
think. I can't really get out of that one. <laughs> we might do it next week. I need to actually plan the airport build itself first. Take significant planning those airport builds. They're, um, they're not quick and easy ones. You certainly won't get a modular build video called three quick and easy airport builds, that's for sure. They are, they are chungus boys. I'm busy as well, so you've got to make sure that they actually work. Okay. I have missed another section of car parking here as well. There we go. So that should be all car parks configured. No, there's one more over here. There we go. Now we okay. Are we happy? I think so. It's getting busier. It is starting to... I mean, it's nowhere near as full to capacity, but it's getting busier. And of course, as houses and stuff grows around this, it will... It will just naturally become busier anyway. So let's have a look at some fast food assets. Let's dive into the world of low-density commercial and look at custom as well. Um, and then let's see if we can find... I'm reluctant to include yet another California pizza kitchen, which is quickly becoming like my favourite asset. So I think maybe a little frontage network of fast food places here. Is that going to be acceptable? And I feel like we can just bring them down. Off at of this point, the road length on as well. You forgot the middle section of a car park decals, did I? Oh, I didn't put this to sale one either. There you go. I should be right. Oh, we talking about this one, Mama. Yeah, we got that one. The handicapped are turning up in full force in the stadium. Perhaps some sort of disabled basketball tournament on. With the um, is it Paralympics? That's the right thing, isn't it? With the the wheelchair basketball, or is it wheelchair rugby? I'm sure they do wheelchair basketball as well. I think they do. Um, yeah, so I think if we bring out... Again, do I want to leave a distance of 10? I think I do. Again, which will give me some more space for some large open concrete spaces, but then just using Find It and Plot the Growables now to just align a ton of fast food restaurants. So like an Applebee's... A, maybe a buffalo grill. It's leaning more into the restaurant side of things. I really want fast food here. Um, oh, Applebee, Applebee's is a grill as well, though, isn't it? Oh, screw it. It doesn't matter. We'll just make some match. We'll make some match. Bob's. So look at Rico as well. There are different assets within Rico. Uh, so let's have Zaxby's as well. Yeah. Hey, Andy. Welcome in. You missed one wheelchair parking spot on the left side of the middle of the car park. Yes, we've got that, haven't we? We've got that now. Remember the one below that near the handicap parking? Oh, yes. Good spot, my mate. Do these not appear from, like, super zoomed out? I feel like I'm incredibly blind. Are you okay now? Okay. Maybe leave some space between each building. Yes, we certainly will. We're just kind of plopping in what we want, first of all. Oh, do you know what? Would, big Box would pair really nicely here. Would you find Big Box this close to a stadium, though? Maybe a Costco? Not entirely sure. Or a Smith's Food and Drug. Maybe not quite as big as a Walmart. Why don't you put commercial in the middle of the parking lots where you have space? Uh, not in the middle of the parking lot, no. We'll do some around the edge of it, not in the middle. I think I'm on board. 
Big box is too close. I'm thinking you wouldn't. Obviously, the only really parallels I've got to join the UK is would you find like a massive Asda right next to a massive football stadium? You don't usually. Yeah, I think we can't really include it, can we? Let's get a Panda Express on the corner as well. And then... Maybe even a few offices, like kind of for the stadium's offices to do their business. A little bit of HR administration for the stadium, Kiara. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Yes, absolutely. Some office space and I'll work here. I'm bored with that. Um, okay, I've got a vision in mind for this, guys. I do. Just just bear with me, all right? I promise you it will come out looking better than it is at the minute. Uh, an In-N-Out Burger. It's another fast food one. An IHOP as well. So we could make them all drive through. Um, if we use the little big parking lot roads that act the drive ones. These actually work quite nicely as sort of drive through roads. So, at least for the most part anyway, we bring them totally behind. So just bear with me, all right? This is gonna look a little bit janky before it starts to look good. So within each block, we'll have a drive through road so you can actually get into the drive through Because I did actually have um, when we did this over here uh, a couple of episodes ago, or a couple of live streams ago, wasn't it? And um, we did the McDonald's over here. I had the drive through police in the comments telling me that it needs a drive through road. So we're going to respect the drive through police today. Um, I don't really like the IHOP asset, so he's going to fall foul. Zaxby's will come over instead. What is Zaxby's? Again, it's not a brand or a chain we have in the UK. So I'm not overly familiar with it. And is there a way we can, like, combine the five guys and the bobs? Maybe onto the back of each other? Mm, I do kind of want the five guys logo facing frontage, though. Facing up front. Okay, we'll go for that then. That's all right. Bring the connection down. And then we're going to sacrifice Applebee's. And then we'll go for Buffalo Grill. And one more next to this. Tim Hortons. Or a Whataburger. It's a very loud building, that, isn't it? The Waluigi Burger, whatever it's called. Why well, we drop by for a set of couches later today after errands. So thrilled with you trading maps if you can do. Those videos are great. Excited for another trade in the future, I hope. Thank you so much, Eric. Glad you enjoyed the collab, mate. I uh, really appreciate the support. Night, oh, it's 3 am. I need some sleep. Looking forward to catching what I miss is build tomorrow. Thank you so much, Sarah. Insane staying up that late. <laughs> we will do the Aussie appropriate time stream soon. But thank you so much for your support, lovely. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Okay, so the thought process here is this is all your fast food, right? You can get on your way out of the stadium, never cross the park, car park and run into your uh, retailer of choice. And then out of the front, again, I want more concrete space. I might actually do this as grass. And then basically a load of like tables and restrooms and general outdoorsy recreation immediately outside of the fast food court so it essentially is like kind of a beer and refreshments area right stop over and you know, grab a pint or a burger before you head into the stadium because you don't want to pay the stadium prices is my justification <laughs> behind this so we'll go for definitely the darker part live tables are going to be nice here. Okay, and then let's go for sort of one, two, and three, and four. And then we'll do a couple different patterns here. So we'll actually use prop line two of them. It's not level. It does look very weird. 
So six meters, not in a circle though. Let's we'll see. Circular tables couldn't be a bad shout. Do them like this. A little bit different rather than just having them straight in a row. And there are definitely lots of part life assets here. So stuff like the restrooms um, in and around the corners. If they're feeling the call of Mother Nature before heading into the stadium. But do I want this to be grass though? Buffalo Grill sign is obnoxious. A lot of American signs are though, to be fair, aren't they? They are very loud. Tailgate area. I would make the drive through one-way roads. Yeah, that's true. The drive the drive through road should be one way, really. Um, let's go for this one. Yeah, let's go for the one-way narrow road. It's a little more appropriate, isn't it? Service paints right at the back of them as well. Okay, I feel like that's somewhat acceptable. Let's try it with grass before we move on. Because I'm just very curious as to what that's going to look like. We'll use the sand one. Move the pathway. I think it's nicer with grass, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to go grass. Did the match get cancelled again? It's not happened yet. It's next month. Yeah, they're all gathering now. They're gathering. They're gathering a month early. <laughs> just, just in case they miss it. Yeah, it's starting to happen. So when is it? It's in like next month, isn't it? Yeah, we'll keep our eye on that. Yeah. Definitely grass here. Definitely grass. We are getting people using those uh, pathways as well, so we will reinstate with some regular vanilla at least. So we can see people kind of walking past the tables and whatnot. Uh, let's go for... Oh, no, that's service painter again. That's not what we want. There we go. Let's go for the grass. So, very happy with the circular table format. Come ahead and just copy and paste these around with some different orientations and styles and whatnot. So, not everything is perfectly mimicked. Okay, so lots of tables, lots of seating. Okay, circular tables look way cooler. They do, don't they, Zach? They do. Apologies, guys. I just punched my microphone. I'm interested to see how people get here. Don't need the parking at the front of the stadium. Decorated road directly in front of the stadium with crossing instead of parking. I think so, yeah. Yeah, let's do that instead. Um, let's go for... That's my little collector road. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll use node controller to create a crossing. You will turn into a crossing yourself. Wonderful. That does generate the uh, pedestrian crossing for us. Although I do want it off the ends though. I don't want it there. Let's keep it in the middle. Why have you now registered a disconnected? Is that because of that road? Yeah, there we go. Just slightly move you over. And then suggestions of trees to sit in the upgraded road. Juniper might be a good shout. Try Juniper first. See what happens anyway. Why do you keep getting error message? It said mod clash. Yeah, I'm just trying to ignore it. I know it's annoying, guys. I'm just trying to not acknowledge it. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? That's a much better shout. Yeah, just crossing directly in front of the stadium now. 
much nicer. Fantastic. Okay, let's come back over here. So lots more gazebos. Again, as some sort of bear tent, if you will. You know, maybe you can hang out with the boys and watch the basketball or whatever it is that these people do. Um, though this as well. Yeah, I forgot this, didn't I? I wanted this over here. There we go. So yeah, flowers and trees. Yes, absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Um, let's go for definitely the little small coloured numbers that we use. A little pink one. What colour is the team? We can make it the same colour as the team. The Ilos alligators just actually happen to be pink organically. So I think we're going to stick with the pink. Again, prop line tool. It's going to be helpful. Let's go for 12 meters. Is probably too long a distance to work in a space like this, but looks like we're okay. A small entertainment district, bars and such around the stadium for sure. Yes, we can do some sort of bars and tourism. We're going to do some office as well. Remember. Five bushes in the middle. Repeat that again, three on each side. Some will need slight amendments, but nothing too serious. Okay. Let's make sure we keep checking for more angles here. You can kind of tell what it is, right? I don't really know what name you would give this. I guess like a food court would be the most appropriate adjective to give to it. Not sure. That's what I'd call it. And let's not forget a lot of the state of the concert assets as well for this area. Not that we're going to build a full on concert area, but there is some of them that will work. Like the media broadcast building. This is quite a cute downtown asset though. I do like this in the downtown. Although we can just copy with move it now that that actually matters anymore. Oh, the festival area would look really quite nice here, wouldn't it? It would, but no. Fan zone park would be good as well. The fan zone park would be good here. Okay. It's match day. Yes, it is match day. Yes, it is. So yeah, it's match day today, isn't it? Um, 25th, is it? Where's next match? Did we win? Wait, where's the next match showing up? Is it because it's today? There's people here anyway. Going for dinner, great stream, no worries, Night Rider. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate that you enjoy your dinner. It would look good, wouldn't it? If we dropped in some of the stadium, or the, the concerts are sets. Yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. Someone got too excited, yeah, they died, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> Someone got so excited that they actually stopped living because they were just so over the moon. Okay, so this now comes up here. So of course this changes its size, so I don't really want to do anything too major with it until it hits max level. Because any designs I make now are going to change as the asset changes itself. I remember this being an absolute nightmare to level up as well. It takes ages for it to hit level 5. Um. Yeah, okay, so we've dropped that in then. It's playing now. Oh, that's good then. How, how many days does it take to play? It's a long game of basketball, isn't it? It's been going on for about two weeks. <laughs> what the hell are they doing in there? Right. Um, so, Fan Zone Park as well. This would actually work kind of nicely over here where I wanted it to be, but also quite cute behind the stadium as well. Something like that. Mm, 
Mm, I kind of want to include this out here, though. It does murder the pattern, but I think I'm happy with it. Do we want this here, outside of the fast foods? I think it just lends itself into a fan zone part quite well. Or we can centralise it behind the stadium. Or have it next to the... Oh, too many options. <laughs> There's too many options. Way too many options. Um, let's try it next to the concert area itself. Though I realise the fan zone is for people that can't quite make it to the main ground, so they watch it on a stream from here instead. Even though it's right next door. Okay. Have you any sports or assets beyond the gym from the base game? Don't think so, JJ. I've got some cute little tennis court things. Um, I can find it, of course. Now I'm trying to find it. I cannot find it. We have used it before. It's over here. Um, this one. It is tennis, though. It's not basketball. If I had a basketball version of this, this would be perfect. But um, I don't. Okay. Better outside the fast food area. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so let's clear out a little bit of um, pattern from this build then. Let's just clear out this section and then we'll hopefully just be able to relocate the fun zone park into this. And these do get busy as well, so this is only going to keep drawing more and more people to the area. Something like that. I think that's going to sit really nicely at the foot of the stadium. So yeah, we can't really do too much with the concert unique until it hits its final level. Um, the music club and the broadcast building are probably going to be part of my skyline, so I don't really want them here. But again, it's modded now, so it doesn't really matter. I can just use them as many times as I like. Just copy and paste them and move it. If we did have the media broadcast build in here. We could factor this in with the office park actually. Should take a look at State Farm in Glendale. It's got more of the value after it. Yeah, we know of State Farm, Michael. We've checked out State Farm before. Uh, we're currently sort of looking at the Arizona Veterans Coliseum as a general sort of talking point for this one. But yes, State Farm is a very similar vibe. I love that big field outside of State Farm as well. Okay, can I play the game on Android Mobile? Um, no, dude, you can't. This is a PC game. If you want to play it the way I'm playing anyway, you can play on Xbox and PC, of course, but... Steam is better. I'll put some links to Discord. Cheers, JJ. You're a legend, mate. So, some office assets now. Let's definitely start looking at some ploppable office spaces that will complement the media broadcast building. If there's anything made of solid glass, we can probably clip it into the building itself. Oh, it does have some very... Again, that's a downtown building, isn't it? Or is it? <laughs> or is it? Let's try it. I don't think I'm going to get away with it because... Again, I could put them side by side. Because of the radio mast on top of the broadcasting building, it really pokes through. You can very clearly tell that it's been merged together. Something like that. Sports museum. Music club and broadcast belong in the downtown or uptown, if you will. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hating it, I'm not loving it. Um, I think they may be too tall. I think maybe one of these might be better served for the purpose, right? 
I think those other ones are just too tall for it, but these are sort of the vibe. Maybe placing another one that we can sort of merge in to create a... It's just trash news. Never noticed that before. Forecourt or opening into... The office complex. No, it's too big. That looks good. Yeah, it is. those other assets were too big. I think that's a little more... Appropriate, isn't it? A little bit of office space in here. Of course, detail it up as well. We'll fence it all off. Make it relatively private and landscape too. Twist it and put it on the back. Sure, the back is probably more appropriate. Um, configuration for it to be fair yeah let's discuss the orientation at least the side of it and bob the hedge away so let's have this face in the front okay so that exposes the dumpster and the gate and the little sort of side garages that are on here and then a little combo of office units can come in to essentially modularly expand the bobbed broadcast building once we get rid of the hedge is somewhere here. We will find it eventually. There it is. I should move that. Cool. And then we can use these guys. Twist them around. And that kind of serves as like a little entrance here now. Let's also do some cul-de-sac work with the roads. We'll go for here and then we'll stretch out this node with node controller. So we'll do 200% if it would allow me to type. Tremendous. Do that again as well. That should round out the road a little bit easier. And then a lot of fence in here. I usually find, at least in England, not that this isn't English inspired city, but office parts like this are private complexes do tend to be relatively fenced away and not just open to the general public. I think lots of junipers around here as well for some reason is what's appealing to me. I think I'm also feeling like a really delicate little space of some green space here, like a park. Are any of them going to fit in without being massively obnoxious? Uh, do you know what, actually it might, no it's got playgrounds in it. I was going to say it'll call for a few candy park. We could do... Oh, no, it's more parking. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, why don't we do some more parking? But no, we don't need it. Um, mm, I'll detail it myself. None of these assets are working. Plaza, that's not a bad shout, EMB, actually. We could bob a Paradox Plaza. One of these is probably more appropriate. Yes, that one. Let's bob that away. Let's get rid of the trees. Thank you very much. Do you want to copy and paste this in as well? So we can do a little bit of back-to-back -back bobbed plaza action out the front. How horrific is this going to be? Horrendous at the minute, but this can be finagled, of course. Can I grab those same tiles? I think they're called high tiles, right? Can I place these in? Yeah. Let's do that ourselves and just to merge that solid texture. Bear with it. It's going to get better. Alright. <laughs> it's going to get better. Okay, a little bit outdoor eating area for the executives that are involved in dealing with the dealings for a basketball team. Let's also go with a little side access here as well. So where people can enter through for walkability purposes. And then this one I'll continue. Down, up, and to the entrance. Um, I need to get rid of those parasols, don't I? Those umbrellas are horrendous. Yeah. I'm happy for the benches, but not the parasols. Alright. I think that sort of works. It's not finished, of course. 
Um, junipers is what I was thinking. So let's come in for some level 2 juniper action. And leave me alone, array index. I will fix you eventually. Hunters as well, here. Hunters are always appreciated, right? A couple of little XLs. Maybe over three, and we'll pick some sort of random tree to go in there. Something outside of the usual palette usually helps with those sorts of areas. And again, a little healthy line of junipers is going to be appreciated. And we'll bring it. Is that counted as a connection? Yes, it has. That's okay. We will have to amend the fence, though. It's been some as well. I think that fits quite cutely onto the head of the car park. Of course, it'll look a lot more impressive once the concert area hits level 5, but that'll be a while yet. Um, I'm maybe thinking a splash of grass as well, if we dare. Let's have a little look at that. Just around the edges of it here, if we can. Not spilling to this side of the main road, though. And then some of those trees again, what are we fancying? Maybe some of these little Apollo ones. Oh, it's not meant to do. Turn the bus turns down. Why don't you use prop line tool? Um, just old habits, Croco. Old habits, mate. I'm so used to vanilla and manly placing them myself. I just forget sometimes that I have the mod. Okay. Placing two more. Nighttime view. Nighttime could make it or break it. Oh, it makes it, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially with the lights. Yeah, that's a lovely addition into the area. What a wonderful little combination build this has been. Oil industry assets, amusement park stuff, stadiums, commercial, concerts, car parking. Very mixed use build, this one, isn't it? Have a hydration break though, and posture check as well, everyone. That's only the second one in two and a half hours, man. I'm so sorry, guys. Tiny statue, fountain, modern art somewhere on the plaza. Not feeling a fountain over here, EMB. I won't lie, not feeling a fountain here or a statue either. Okay. Yeah, that's a good shout. Um, the marking on the cul de sac really is throwing me off. Yeah, that should be the clear road, really, to be fair. That's not a bad observation. EMB, there you go, mate. Um, we'll also node controller the marking itself off as well. Uh, I guess I'm remove the parking on this road too, so they are forced into using the um, car parking. Yeah, no parking on any of these roads through this space. Go and use the car parks. Cool. Okay, so the last thing we want to have a look at is some sort of tourism and whatnot, right? Maybe like a hotel over here. But we can certainly have a look at some of the tourism specific assets. Like these sorts of stadiums, uh, hotels even. Actually, can we get the... Can I drop in an airport hotel asset without having an airport area? No. Because to be fair, one of the airport hotels, especially the budget hotel, kind of works exactly for what I want here. We make downtown the next episode. Um, no, we are far away from the downtown yet. Downtown won't be for a bit. Okay, in this case then. 
I think we'll go for some of the after dart ones. These ones aren't too bad. Okay. Not next to the stadium area though, at the concert area though. We'll leave that there. Yeah, car park is filling up nicely now, isn't it? It is. Hey Swoosh, welcome to the stream. Okay, so actually we do need to have a little examine in Google Earth very quickly, just talking about Phoenix's skyline. So let me pull you over to it. So of course there's downtown Phoenix here, which is our main downtown, right? This is our primary inspiration of the skyline and what we'll work with. However, to the, I guess this is the east in Arizona, um, there is sort of like a little midtown here that just sits to the north of the downtown. Some very random spikes of height that do appear. So whether or not this is actually still included as part of Phoenix's downtown, even though the main hub is over here, there are some pops of height that do just randomly appear in the Mar grid. Um, so we can probably get a little street view of these and get an impression of just how tall they are. Yeah, so significant pops of height, right? These are definitely like 400 mid-rises here from down on the street. So I'm happy to have some pops of height over this side of which the hotels will serve. So that's fine. So you know... We're very much kind of looking from this perspective now as we're looking towards the downtown along this sort of ridge here which is south for us we'll have a couple of little pops in height in it okay so we'll use a few of these now there is some nice combinations we can do again we're probably going to use move it to move into position and detail and whatnot so we'll have a main hotel up here, and then we'll do some pools around them as well. And then we'll maybe go for a couple of sort of discount, slightly cheaper hotels here. That don't have quite the same amenities as the, the more expensive one next door. Maybe there's a Hilton over here. That's Central Avenue. It's part of financial and part of high-rise condos. Okay, Dan, that's good to know. Thanks, mate. Yes, that area anyway. Um, we're certainly leaning into that area at this point, so... We can definitely run with it. And um, let's drop in some of these pool assets. The other two. We'll also fence this off as well. And yes, let me just surface paint the grass away. Might not remain concrete, we will see. We'll see what happens. We got some sun lounges in here as well, like we did with the condos last Saturday on the stream too. And for some reason, I'm really feeling the After Dark fencing, or the Natural Disasters one, whichever one it is. Natural Disasters with a chain link. And let's go for options and then linear fence fill. Yep, yeah, that's sort of what I'm after. Let's come in with a little bit of move it and just grab these guys. Yeah, just a line to about there. That's about. That should be about appropriate enough. Okay, the Japanese content created downtown hotel. The signage might not fit the vibe though. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Not here. I know what I'm doing with this asset already. Yeah, the resort hotel is the one you're talking about. Yeah, it definitely clashes with the stadium vibe here. It's too big. It's almost the same size as the stadium. Um, Yeah, I know what I'm doing with this. That build has been planned ahead. <laughs> I know what's happening with the asset. Yeah, straight away. Okay, I think I'm also going to plop in a couple of after that gyms in here as well. Though they're the private pools. So there's the terraces here as well, which I don't want right now. These might be nice over in the little kids and adult area, actually. The little terraces with the things. Um, 
It's nightlife then, isn't it, that has the gyms. Where's the little outdoor gym gone? I could have sworn it was in here. But yes, it's that one that looks nothing like its actual asset. Of course. Can I bring you around? And we'll sort of make like a little hotel complex here. That should still register as connected because the drive through road's on the other side. So we can get some outdoor gyms in. Then let's look for the world of... Did they come up under Sun Lounger? I can't remember if they did or not. Was it just Lounger? No. I'll have to go and drop the prop from last episode. Uh, they were here, right? Yeah. This one. Which one is it? Oh, deck chair. My apologies. There we go. Downtown, not resort. Um, oh, you mean the downtown hotel? Yeah, it could have worked. We'll have a look at it in a minute. I feel like I'm really bad at doing these. For one. Let's do six each side. And then we'll grab a little vanilla parasol. I guess two beds can share a parasol, right? Yeah, let's have a look at that downtown hotel. I know which one you're on about. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would work nicely in the mid-rise area, I think. On Central Avenue, if Dan is to be believed. But yeah, that would work nicely here as well. It doesn't really scream hotel, though, does it? Not like these ones do, I don't think. Possibly, though, mate. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, I definitely see, I think, Kiara shouts out maybe Playground over here as well. In would I be inverse to include in a small playground as part of the complex? No, I wouldn't. That's going to be fine with me. Let's dive back into the world of that chain link fencing. And we'll carry on stringing it together. And we'll make sure prop line tool is active with linear fence fill. Again, we'll do some alignment. And then they can get in this side. Looks like a hospital, they might say. <laughs> it's not... I'm not sure that's a good thing. Yeah, I think we definitely just want to paint out the surface area now with Service Painter. And then close out those fencing designs too. All around here now. Just manually place these ones in as we come towards the end of the pattern. Although I do need to reduce brush strength with a tree first. There we go. And tiny little baby single one to merge into the wall. Very nice. You need fences that do not show the inside. I feel like I've seen this before in Southwest America though. Where they do have pools with chain link fence in between them. I'm not just kind of making this up. I've definitely seen this. I think maybe in Breaking Bad. They go to... Somewhere that has a pool, I think. It's been a while, but we're taking inspiration. Okay, definitely a bar as well. Can I grab a bar? Although, to be fair, green cities might actually work better for this. Um, yeah, actually, these aren't too bad. Maybe the karaoke bar would be okay. So sort of like a horrific on-site karaoke bar. Maybe where like the all-inclusive people go to eat and it's just like horrible, nasty food. 
So there's a little karaoke bar on site next to the pool. Yes, all over town that live in Phoenix. There we go. We've got a Phoenix resident in the stream. I'm going with Dan. <laughs> there we go. Please go back to vanilla. I really can't stand this mod stuff. There's a vanilla series running Happy TV. It's been running for about a month, mate. I'm doing both vanilla and modded. There's both on the channel. It's going to register as connected as well if we leave it in there. Okay, yes, in Breaking Bad, Walt lives in that apartment complex and fishes out a band-aid with a pool or something. Yeah, I think, doesn't Jesse go into a pool when he goes to rehab as well, I think. Okay, I think I'm happy with that little development as an on-site sort of local area to stay if you're visiting maybe and you want to stay nearby. There is kind of a expensive but horrific hotel. Fencing is expensive, chain is less so. True that. Imagine it uses a lot less material, doesn't it, when you're using chain link fencing. So let's paint this out and then we'll have a look at the next hotel complex together. Okay, so I think facing the road instead of the fast food is going to be a little bit nicer. So we'll set them back a tight little bit. And I'm happy to continually combine with sort of the part life assets here. Not part life after dark even. Two by two restaurant. Mm, bowling alley. Not feeling a lot of these tourism again, maybe. Beach restaurants are quite nice. Yeah, let's go for one of these. Again, we'll do like a little gated complex. Using the chain link fence in here. Okay, expensive but horrific. Sounds great, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like those really expensive, like, um, which is the really expensive one in the UK? Is it Butlins? Or no, it's, it's Centre Parks, isn't it? Centre Parks is like mad expensive. It's like two grand a week or something to stay there. And um, it's crap. Like, it's terrible. In terms of, like, cleanliness and amenities and stuff, it's not a good setup. Okay, let's go for these. Dragon with a five Canadian doll super chat, to be honest, for the longest time. I always thought it was called the Mild Grit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess it's in the title of this uh, today, isn't it? No, it's not, mate. It's the Mild Grit. <laughs> it's the Mild Grit. Yes. It should to be referred to as the half mile grid because each of the grids is actually a half mile. So it's two grids that make a four mile. So technically the half mile grid, but doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well, does it? I'm very much enjoying chain link hotel vibes in today's stream. Something I've never really tried before, but it's an aesthetic that really does work. Seafood and grill might do a better job of actually replacing the buffalo grill, actually. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to replace the burger one with it. Yeah, I'll have the seafood grill in there. Even though we're nowhere near a sea, which is fine, but... I won't tell if you won't. Yeah, let's have a pub on site as well. Again, because we're so close to the roads here, it's really going to keep everyone connected. Okay. Got to run. Really love how this area is coming together. Ladies, everyone, thank you so much, Fusey, for hanging out. And of course, for those that are watching and haven't checked out Fusey's episode of Ilos, please go ahead and do so. It's there. It's really nice. It's also going to repeat the pattern up here with the lounges too, but delete some of them. Let's take those ones away.
And then out here, would a part life prop work, I wonder? Isn't it quarter mile grid since you would need a full for a full square mile? Um, well, you'd need four, but in a two by two pattern, wouldn't you? So it'd be like half mile, one mile, and then half mile, one mile. So that would give you kind of a mile radius there, right? So it's two of the grids in a two by two pattern. So it'd be half for each side. She fled from the interior pool detailing. <laughs> who, would, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? I feel like maybe we could accommodate some private pools in this area. Mm, I don't actually need to do that though, do I? Let's keep them in. And then we'll place, and then we'll move again with move in. Am I liking that? I think we just need props around it. Let's get some tables and stuff in. Definitely outside of the um, little cafe bar here. We do have some new table props available to us now. These little kind of 4x4 preset ones. One. Two. Yeah, just two outside. Oh, there is a car driving through, which is okay. It's only a delivery. You won't really see that too often. And then I think again, maybe outside. Paddy's pub as well. Okay, I agree with Mehmet, the pools and lounges should not be visible from the outside. No, I'm happy with the uh, wire fencing, it's very much a southwest vibe. This happens in real life. Not every pool is a private complex. Okay. I think the only thing I'm really missing from this now is actually just like a little bit of car parking out the front of the hotels, but it's really not needed. <laughs> not not in this space. Okay. Oh yes, look at people using the little open decorated concrete plaza spaces now. Move around. That's very much appreciated, isn't it? Again, even from kind of way far back in the city now, we're starting to introduce that little pops in height that will slowly kind of bob down towards that downtown. So it's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, I'll have been live for now. What was it, three hours? Yeah, that's probably a good point to call it, to be fair. Let's make sure we're actually, um, yeah, we might as well fill out this back area here, aren't we? So this would probably be a good spot for some services. Imagine the stadium would have its own sort of police department. We can just about squeeze this in. Mm, yeah, I think we'll go with that one. And again, with one of our asset police stations, probably the little township one's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, the little volunteer fire department. I feel like I do just want like a really small car park here. I mean, it's really not needed. Oh, there is a concert happening there. There's people at the fan zone. 
Does that mean we're about to get one? Yes, it does. Cool, okay. We're going to have to keep coming back to this across a number of streams until it gets to level 5. But the car packs are definitely getting busier, aren't they? Certainly as we're bringing more stuff in around this area. You're not really fitting there, are you? Can we move you onto this corner instead? I think that's probably more appropriate, isn't it? And let's bring... Oh, you're quite girthy as well, right? Can we move you? Yes. Just about, anyway. A taxi rank? Yeah, that's a good shout as well. Let's get some taxis in here too. Let's go for a couple of the taxi stand assets. Again, looks like we can almost line these up with where the pathway would naturally come through towards the road crossing. With no road length, of course, here. Yeah, I think some plans are designed now, just to start taking... Because, like, there is obviously a lot of concrete in especially big American cities like this, but big swaths of it can be a little bit overwhelming. So I think just a couple little oval planters to sit behind the taxi ranks should just help introduce a touch of green to what is a very grey area. Let's get some of these trees in as well. Never used these before. So we'll use them now. What about utility yard? Maybe a container gas tank fenced in? Uh, there is something like that on um, Google Earth actually. Looks like where they keep a lot of the sort of air conditioning maintenance um, at the stadium. Okay. Okay. I think I'm happy with it. I don't want to do too much with this space until the concert area hits level 5, like I've said. Okay. Hey everyone, hey Egg, hope you're all well, having a good day, having a busy week, so I'll have to catch up with the last couple of episodes, but it's out for today's stream. Hey Mally, welcome in mate, we won't be live for too much longer buddy. But uh, a nice little stadium today, be available to watch back later as well. Okay, yeah, I think I'm feeling maybe a little bit of stadium admin, if you like. Maybe we can put it around the back here. So, we'll remove... No, we'll leave the grass in. We'll just paint over it. We'll just come out to, like, here. I know there is some air conditioning assets as well, isn't there, that we can use. Let's do those. Um, we will go for oil fence in here. Because we are very much trying to hit secure. Do not come in here vibes. You are not authorised. Something like that. And then again, a ton of industrial props going to be grand here so let's go for those containers which I did have here we'll mix and match them let's go for two and then three and then we'll grab these guys and move it and bring it up It's always a precarious place with this one. There we go. Seems to be... Oh, that one's not aligned. That is dangerous. That could fall off, couldn't it? There we go. A couple of little stack containers. And then they do have an air conditioning unit. They definitely do. I've seen it before. Um, Where are they? These ones. Concert only goes up to level 3, max out ticket prices to increase band popularity. Do not upgrade until conditions level 3 are met to make sold out quantity so much easier to achieve. Okay, that's a good point, Stan. I remember the only time I've really played with a proper concerts build was the modular build, and that was like more than a year ago now, so I've not really touched it since then. Because of course, Palamon on Vary didn't really have um, concert areas, so they weren't touched on there either. Let's definitely bring some of those crates as well. 
that we used earlier. Uh, we'll also have some of the kind of scuff decals around here too for uh, messing up the concrete. Yeah, this sort of stuff. So it's, uh, you know, like you imagine things have been scraped and dragged along this concrete is a little bit more knackered. I think I'm even happier just to remove some of the surface paint around the corners of the fencing. Maybe even in here as well and just let some little shy pieces of overgrowth come through like nature is just starting to come back and uh, take over. If you want some Ilos Stadium lore. And there you go. Couple little Fences and hedges and whatnot. No colour here, actually. No colour. Keep it very dry, quite arid, like it is just starting to come back through. Oh, these are all kind of big for what I need, actually. That's sort of better, I suppose. Okay. Again, we will look at some more industrial propage because we've still got a little space to fill here. Let's go for some of these kind of rebar looking things. Now it's more construction site to be fair. Um, we could pair in an actual industrial asset here, like a recycling center. Might look a bit dodgy though. We'll try it. Yes, look at the people walking. Walk everyone. Walk to my trams. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so walkable. Yes, please, everyone. You can sit and watch that for hours, can't you? Maple syrup crates. Yes, the Canadians are back playing baseball in Ilus. Total the rider with a 500 RSD. Um, total the builder, sorry, not rider. Total the builder with a 500 RSD super chat. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate the, the, the support. What's RSD? I don't think I've ever seen that currency before. Not a few in the recycling centre. No, I don't think I am either. Too industrial, isn't it? It's too industrial. I think that's all it needs. Just a little corner of some industrial props that's like there for maintenance for the stadium. Like replacing fluid and air conditioning units and stuff. And then we can just bring out this little sort of path network that we established at the start and then just let this mould into Greenbelt and act as some kind of sound shelter to the suburb that will sit adjacent from this eventually. So we'll just go for a mix of trees, palms, live oaks and some overgrowth around the back. Maybe one commercial unit or maybe medical center. Medical center might be appropriate. Or doctor's surgery in case there's any accidents at the stadium. On-site paramedics, etc. Okay, and then we'll grab Some overgrowth as well. A few more little splashes through here. Try and stick with kind of clusters of taller trees and leave some open green space as well. Okay. Can you even put a dump truck in there like it's picking stuff up? Not to the point where it's animated, Kiara, no. No, the sims around the city don't interact with props. They're very much there for detailing. I love how busy this little frontage bits will come with the tram crossing. Such simple designs, but it's quite effective, isn't it? Especially in flanking a big arterial structure like this with the elevated cycle network. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. RSD's Serbian dinner, is it? Okay, I haven't seen that one before. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, so the only thing we can't really fill now is the festival area because it's going to grow up and fill probably the bulk of this space by itself anyway, if not for a bit of lighter detail, but otherwise, that's kind of it for the stadium build. How long has that taken us? Three hours. Three hours to do that. Feels like. <laughs> Feels like a lot less than that. I'm so sorry if that was too long, everyone. That was like a three-hour stadium build. 
Oh, yes, walk. That's <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. This is a nice area. I really like this build today. Uh, but we are going to leave the stream there, guys. Let's go and find a place to say goodbye. Um, I think we'll sit with the uh, fairground and metro in the foreground. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say goodbye from this episode, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. Let's go for the front and everything else in the background. Okay. Wonderful. Looks like your crime is going up there, Maple Police Station. No, it's because the asset's just too far away from the road. It just needs moving in a little bit because it's not got a connection, which we will do. It'll be okay then. Okay, let's uh, say goodbye. Okay, guys. Um, So... I believe I said I would give... Was it Ryan Studios who was here earlier? Who wanted a... Who said I would give a shout-out? Let me see if I can find his channel. Hold on. Ryan Studios, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, There is a new content creator just started up supposedly 18 hours ago. It, the link is in the live chat if you want to go some support to Ryan. Um, I've not really watched it, so I can't really vouch for it, but I'll set a plug him anyway, so the link's there. Go feed his algorithm for him. Um, but either way, thank you so much for all support. Um, sorry it was a long one, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the stadium build. Um, I really did. One of my favourite areas of Ilos, actually. A really nice combination of green cities, tourism, um, nightlife, concerts, campus, and, and part life as well. Very heavy combo build here, of course, with lots of modded car parks as well. Um, but it's really nice. I like it. It's turned out really good. <laughs> it's huge fun. Um, thank you for all the support, guys. I really appreciate all the support on the lives, of course. Um, all the regulars. We've got Knight Rider, who's always here. Brad, that's looking so damn fine. As are you, Brad, as well, my friend. <laughs> as are you, mate. Uh, Kiara, EMB, JJ, Jennifer, Memet, Intrabang, Chicken Club, Michael, Jude, Brad again, G. Rune in Terrabang. Too, there's too many of you to name. You're just amazing. <laughs> uh, the Noobs Guide will be out on Monday, and I will see you all in Ilos in the week. Otherwise, I thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, thanks for all the super chats as well. I appreciate the donations. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll speak to you soon.